Hey everyone, this is Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Tuesday, September 22nd. I have a quick update on the stimulus talks, including Pelosi's perspective on the Democrat side and the Republicans' perspective. Steve Mnuchin was testifying in Congress today on the need for more stimulus, but I'm gonna bring you up to speed on the latest. But as I say every day, we need this stimulus for the American people period. This is so overdue. It's so frustrating for the millions of Americans who need this money. Again, 1.5 trillion or 2.2 trillion. Obviously, that's a big difference, but the point is people need help. I'm going to get into the details here about what is the current holdup in that gap between Pelosi and Mnuchin and the White House. And I'm also going to talk about the rise in COVID cases and a quick update on our stimulus check giveaway, because as you know, we are donating all of our YouTube money this month to give out stimulus checks to subscribers of our channel. Here's the quick news update. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna ask you to weigh in too, because I'd love to hear your perspective. Do you think Pelosi is being too stubborn? And I'm gonna talk about why she's still asking for more money. Or do you think the Republicans should just agree to the full amount? Again, most of this is political gamesmanship right now. And this is even more crucial now because of the Supreme Court seat opening with the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. There's the new seat that's open, and obviously that has taken the attention of both parties to the detriment of the stimulus bill. Here's what Pelosi said yesterday. All he wants is his name on a check. Now, this is the Democrats' fear that this will be passed in the lead up to the election, and the millions of Americans will get stimulus checks in the mail, and that will help Trump's re-election chances. Here's what she said. We have to meet their needs, not give the president a chance to just say, I'm going to put my name on a check, send it out, and don't care, and don't talk to me about food, rent, first responders, health care workers, the virus, or anything else. Pelosi has always been pushing for more, in particular for local and state governments. But here's what she said about the 1.5 trillion compromise, which I think is a good compromise. I get that federal and state governments are struggling. New York has major debts. California has major debts. So much of that is due to the increased unemployment payout. When you think about the hundreds of millions of dollars that these two states that I just mentioned have to give out every week for unemployed, it is a ton and it's more than the state has ever had to pay before. So that's what Pelosi has been pushing for. That's the difference between the 1.5 trillion and the 2.2 trillion. More funding for local and state governments so they can continue to serve the people and give out unemployment. So that's why she dismissed the $1.5 trillion compromise that I thought was a great deal and covers a lot of ground. Here's what she said, 14 million children in America are food insecure and their families as well. Millions of those families are on the verge of eviction, right? This is all true. The point is, if you get a deal done, you can help these people. Time is of the essence. That's what I want to underscore here for all of this. Time matters here, okay? Every day counts for people who need food, who need rent, and I get there's a debate between short-term thinking, long-term thinking, but the bottom line is people need help right now. We can talk about long-term thinking later, but we are still in recovery mode. We need to help people so they don't get evicted, so they're able to put food on the table. At the same time, today, Larry Kudlow went on the record saying that he doesn't think another stimulus package is needed. That for a V-shaped recovery, he doesn't think another package will help. And this did deviate from what Steve Mnuchin said hours earlier. Both Mnuchin and Powell testified today that additional stimulus may be needed, especially in certain industries, until Americans resume their everyday business per usual. Again, all of this is the news talking points, Kudlow disagreeing with Powell and Mnuchin, which is interesting because they're all on the same team, but they're saying different things. Here's more on his testimony today to the House Financial Services Committee. He said he will continue to work with Congress toward a phase four relief package, and he believes targeted package is still needed. And this is interesting, this quote here from Steve Mnuchin, because I hadn't seen this before today. There is a compromise if the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is willing to move forward. So he's willing to play ball for the 1.5 trillion. But he is somewhat concerned that Pelosi is afraid any deal would be good for the president. And that to me seems the biggest bet. Uh, Pelosi is afraid that if millions of Americans get stimulus checks, it will help Trump and he will take credit for it. He will take credit for the deal. So the part here is, okay, we gotta help people now, but there's also a very contentious election coming up, which has divided this country. So there is that consideration as well. Mitch McConnell said today, these talks continue regarding the stimulus and hopefully we'll reach an agreement. He did not comment on whether he'd spoken with Pelosi or not. However, a lot of these quotes from lawmakers today is kind of the after the fact question. 
The main question, unfortunately, for the past few days has really been about the Supreme Court nominee. Trump said he will announce his pick this Saturday, and that's where the focus is. For Democrats, it's how to stop that from happening. For Republicans, it's how to push a new Supreme Court justice through the process and get them in before the election. But here's my perspective, and I said this last week, I think Pelosi should come down, agree to a deal, and make it happen. Because politics aside, she could decide to help millions of Americans right now by lowering her amount. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, because this is a complicated puzzle where there are a lot of moving parts, right? What's good for the country today versus what's good for the Democrats in terms of potentially getting Biden elected into the White House, and that opening up more opportunities for certain groups of people. And speaking of helping people today, I'm going to link to the video where we asked you how much do you want in stimulus checks from us okay we announced at the beginning of this month that we will donate all our revenue to give out stimulus checks to subscribers of this channel who watch this video that i'm linking to above but then we asked how can we help more people and we even opened it up for you to comment would you rather have 500 dollars checks from us and increase your odds of getting something rather than nothing so i'm going to link to that video too you can comment there we're tallying the results. But bottom line, we're going to keep you up to date on this stimulus news and anything that changes this week. And of course, any new grants and EIDL news. Yesterday's video was about grants that are available. So watch that one if you haven't. As always, thanks so much for supporting our channel, for supporting our effort to help you by giving out stimulus checks. It means so much to us to hear your thanks and gratitude. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.